Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. And continuing on with my Navy theme month, I'll be taking a look at the Cobra Frogman, the 1985 Eels. Now the Eels makes their first appearance in the uh, Marvel comic run in issue 47. And in cartoon form, they make their first appearance in the 1985 first season episode, Cobra Stops the World. Um, I know Frogman is a kind of a funny term. It just means a combat diver. To me, Frogman uh, brings up images of the evil divers who would chase Johnny Quest in the old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Interestingly enough, the eels is rather a lot like the vipers, as many, uh, many of the Cobra Command ranks above this actually do have to start off as eels, such as the 1985 Lampreys, 1985 Snow Serpent, and 1987 Ice Viper and the Sea Slugs, all specifically state in their file cards that they have to start off as eels first. Now, eels, uh, an actual, the, the actual creature, is not, a, is not a, a serpent of any kind. And you might think it's actually kind of odd because almost all of the other um, Cobra Command ranks are named after snakes mostly up to this point. However, there is a reason why they call him an eels, which I'll get into later. The eels has a really nice color scheme and complements the maroon and gray of the 1985 Hydrofoil Moray perfectly. As a matter of fact, most collectors do use the eels to crew that large Cobra vessel. The eels comes with a JLS double harpoon rifle with stunner. And the stunner bit is right down here. And that's what I mean by my thinking that the eels, the Cobra diver, was really meant to be taken after the electric eel, which has a similar electric stun on it for its prey. The eels also comes with a pair of flippers, and these are the same flippers that the 1986 wetsuit would also come with. The eels has a air hose, which attaches directly to his face, and to the air tank backpack. Now you have to be careful with the air hoses as they are not really rubbery and thus not 100% flexible either. They can break at uh, anywhere really along the tube and especially close to the mouthpiece which is really where you put the pressure on. The air tanks are kind of unusual because there are two pieces of air with the bottom piece being a jet pack. I'm not quite sure why this is a separate piece as you can't really hold the jet pack or put it anywhere else like you can with the 1986 Wetsuits Sea Sled. Please be aware that all of the eel's accessories, the air hoses, the air tanks, the attached jet pack, the harpoon gun, even the flippers, were all redone in dark blue plastic. And these actually come from the Cobra Battle Gear Accessory Pack number 6, first released in 1988. They're not as desirable. Unfortunately, sometimes some sellers on the aftermarket uh, accidentally switch out one or more of these accessories, so you have to keep your eyes peeled for that. Well, that's all the time I have right now.
Thank you for watching my video and stay tuned for next week to see another 1980s G.I. Joe toy review. See you then!